everybody to the Call of Fruit Saddle channel. I hope you guys are watching. Thank you so much for watching my videos. I hope you like them. Today is going to be a little bit different, let's just say. I'm going to talk about my other collections of things that I have and one of them being from Art Hawk. I learned about Art Hawk cafes and hotels maybe 15 years ago and I actually got my first t-shirt in 2009. Since then it's been it's been it's been down from there i have so much stuff at home most of them is actually in bags and i'm gonna talk about a little bit about that if you have any questions please comment down below so the art hawk cafe the first one opened in 1971 in london that's the original one in hyde park and there was just a regular cafe that later had memorabilia and the hawk shop so in the beginning i started buying t-shirts i'm gonna put a picture here it's called the city t-shirt so in the front you have the art hawk logo where is it from i don't know lisbon or porto or london and in the back the picture is different in all of them we, that's what i like that you have something about the city you know you go to rome you have a little bit of the vatican if you go to lisbon you have a little bit of the famous bridge and so on and so forth so obviously in the beginning i start buying t-shirts because i thought you know there's one of them one city t-shirt is the name i buy it and i'm done with it uh, because pins there's a lot of them and then i got into the world of the pins and it's a very very big world there's people really called pin masters they collect them a lot of them i have a small collection of about 200 and something pins i will show some of them in my next videos and my t-shirts as well and in this video i think i will talk about a little bit of the rewards and what people are crazy about like me so a little bit of a backstory i mentioned that art hawk started as a regular cafe let's just say in the beginning all this memorabilia in the hawk shop that you know and love from the cafes at the moment in the hotels did not exist at the time so how it started was there was a football game and art hawk provided some you know sponsored t-shirts with the logo and people start asking about them and that's how the hawk shop world started you know with the t-shirts and the pins and the mugs and all that stuff the memorabilia is actually a very interesting um, story. It started when Eric Clapton, it was a very good friend of the founders of Art Hawk, and he would be there all the time. He donated one of his guitars to the Art Hawk, a, a red one. It's still up actually in the original Art Hawk in Art Park, and they put it up on the wall. There was another musician that came by and said, If his guitar is on the wall, I want mine as well there. And it started this old memorabilia world. So obviously at the moment, every time you go to a cafe or to a hotel, you see this memorabilia everywhere. I am a very, very, very big Queen fan and Freddie Mercury fan. So every time I go anywhere, I usually check if there's anything from Freddie or from Queen. I found some of them actually, which was kind of cool, some shirts. You see really crazy stuff, you know, from a scarf from somebody to shoes. I was in Tenerife a couple of years ago. They even have a a chair from a tour that Britney Spears did like 10 years ago, which was awesome. And all of this brings character to the cafes itself. Here, this is the rewards website and I'm going to sign in so you can look at my accounts and where I've been and I will explain you how the things work. So here we are in my account, like you guys can see, you can see I have some offers, obviously. At the moment, obviously, because of Corona, I cannot go that much anywhere, but I think that's everybody. So in this menu over here, you have the you have the rewards home, the credit, and this is what people get excited about, your visit map. So every time you go to a cafe or a hotel, you can give your number and that goes automatically in your visit map. So you can see everything that it's green, I've been, and then you have a list of all the places that you visited down here. You can see some of them, for example, this one here, it's closed already, which is actually the Hong Kong one, and it's a little bit exciting. You can see this this little star so every time every 25 visits that you get you get the little star and a little pin with a number uh, i will show you the pins in the, my next pin video and this is you know my visit map like i said people go crazy over it in the beginning i didn't even know this existed with the visits i would just go there and buy my t-shirt or a pin or something and then i realized oh you can get an account and you can get visits so i don't have all the visits or all the places i visit over here but that goes with time. I like sometimes to go on vacation. And obviously, I, if there's a hard hawk over there, I would just pop up in there and see what's going on. For example, the gray ones here is the ones that were open and in the meantime, they have closed. The yellow ones are the ones that I haven't visited. 
and the red ones is the non-participating. So you do have some cafes or hotels that do not participate in this reward a program, but it's not there's not that many of them. In this brand, you have the cafes, which are the most common ones and the, the ones that everybody has heard about. You have the hotels and the casinos. Obviously, let's say 99.9999% of the casinos are located in America, obviously. I've been to Las Vegas one, I've been to Lake Tahoe one, and it go on from there. People in this world uh, of the pins and all that stuff are a little bit crazy. I myself admit it. I think last time my boyfriend asked me, oh, you know, you, how much money have you spent with all the pins and t-shirts? As I was like, ba, 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 ba. I don't want to think about it. I don't even want to think about it. It's a hobby. It's a collection. Uh, it's a little bit out of control. So back into the account. So you can see the account here. Every time you go to a hotel, you can get points. And with the points, you can get free nights uh, rewards. Also, when you put your uh, you know, birthday, you can get birthday presents or uh, usually it's a free dessert or something like this, which I really enjoy. The thing is, you do have to live near one, which I do not. The cafe, which is um, near me, it's about a five hour drive. So usually these coupons, I do not use them all the time, which is okay. And so here you can see every time you go somewhere and you give your you know, number, you, it goes from green, which means you visit it. I visit quite a lot <laughs> in France, actually not that much, but it goes uh, that way. But you can see it's, that's the map. And at the moment I'm with 82 visits. Obviously when, if this whole situation with the COVID didn't happen last year, I would have been over a hundred because the road trip I had planned with my boyfriend would have been to a lot of them. But you know, there's all the time something that happens. So I want to get my pins to show you. So like I mentioned, every time you get 25 visits, they send you a pin and I have here, you see, I don't know if you can see, this is the visit of the 25 and then they send me the 50 and this is the 75 and the next one would have been or would be the 100. Obviously that takes time. For example, if I go now to Lisbon again, obviously I've been there, I still get something, but the visit, it's only one time you get per location. <sighs> so this is one of the bags with my t-shirts. I have this one is full, I have another one full, and I've started the third one. Like I mentioned, I do not wear them. The thing was, the first or second t-shirt that I bought, obviously I use them a lot, but you know, with the washing and everything, the color goes out, which is normal. But they are so pretty, so usually I buy them, I wash them, and I keep them in the bag really nicely. Sometimes I have some friends that come to my house and want to see them, so I said, yeah, you can unpack them, but you better pack them as well back it takes a while and i will show some of my t-shirts in the next couple of videos but you can see it's like this look huge huge bag i need actually to buy some new bags they are getting bad usually i keep them closed so obviously some bad smells or even some dust cannot go in so they stay intact so now she goes on it's a little bit heavy let's be honest so in the next couple of videos my idea is going to show you a little bit of my t-shirt collection and another video about my pins. I Like I mentioned, I do have quite a lot of them. My idea will be to separate them between, you know, Europe stuff <laughs> and, um, and US stuff or the rest of the world because I have some Asia um, stuff that I got as well. And the pins, I will teach you a little bit. So in our talk, they do have different pins. So they have the limited edition ones, they have the collectible ones. Obviously the limited edition are, in my opinion, the best ones because they are, you know, as soon as they are finished, they are finished. And in a couple of years, they are worth a lot more. But that's that's another world. And I will explain to you on the next video. If you have any questions or recommendations, please let me know. This is a little bit of a topic that I know a lot of people know about. I have a lot of Facebook friends that I only know because of this, you know, hard talk obsession. There's a lot of us out there. Who knew, you know? My boyfriend, he doesn't get it. He understands every time we go on vacation. What I have to look is... Is that an art hawk hotel, cafe or casino? Because if yes, moi has to go buy some stuff and spend some money. Please like and subscribe and see you next time, guys.